Everybody, welcome to Hasu League Season 12 Finals. Game 1 between Kiwa Dudu, aka Zeddy, starting as the pink Zerg in the bottom right-hand corner, and Ash Dreamer, starting as the green Protoss in the upper left-hand corner. This is going to be on Polypoid. And I am so excited to be casting this, and even more excited with these two players. Because first of all, ZVP. I was a little concerned there was going to be like a lot of PvP again, like last season. But now we're getting a... So I'm a little... Okay, let's let's contextualize this. I'm a little disappointed that it's not Master Ray versus Ash Dreamer again. I am excited Ash is going to have... Or Dreamer, I should say, is going to have another opportunity to go for a finals victory. I am supremely excited to see these two particular players going up against one another. Because Dreamer very micro intensive is got a lot of creative builds and a very i think interesting harassy player and you have zeddy on the opposite side who we've seen can execute some really strong early game harassment that then leads into late game macro it reminds me a bit of old school it's kind of like machine without the machine uh machine used to play this way although he mostly played purely defensively i feel like zeddy opts for more aggression then transitioning into the overwhelming. Uh, that almost feels like Zerg esque. He's opening up with the 12th pool. Looks like Dreamer is going to. I'm not sure if that Overlord saw that probe coming across or not. It's not going to be able. That probe coming in is not going to be able to get a harass on this hatchery as it's planted. But it is going to be able to get a scout. A second probe moving out for Dreamer. He wants to make sure he sees the opening build order, sees that it's in fact a 12th hatch, and he has opened with a forge. Setting up for forge fast expand. So most likely going to go for a Nexus rather than opting for the first cannon. Because you can sneak that in these circumstances. Zeddy getting a spawning pool. He has no scouting information as of yet. <clears throat> that second probe returning home. And this probe actually sitting a little bit sneakily in the back. That Overlord a little concerned about what it's up to. So it's going to go ahead and cover that area. Just in case there was a cannon rush or something along those lines. Nexus is now warping in. So, could be an interesting one. Both players opening up with economic aggression. I'm going to be interested to see Dreamer. I, I, I will see what he does in the mid-game. What's been most popular... This is the particular meta that's also been the, in the most flux recently. Zeddy's drone coming up. If people aren't... If you're just watching this and you're not watching anything else. Currently, the 973 meta has really been... I think the thing on Protoss's mind is like, am I going to get Hydra Bust or not? Am I going to suffer that economic damage in between or not? Zeddy setting up to go ahead and plop down a third hatchery. Probe already sitting at the 6 o'clock base in anticipation. Is he going to opt for the mineral only? Looks like he's going to opt for the mineral only. Still actually might have to deal... The probe not quite able to get there to disrupt it. One photon cannon going down. Because he can't see the zerglings. But there are six zerglings in fact spawning. An extractor being taken as well. But really, I feel like the catch here is dealing with either the Hydra Bust or potentially three Hatch Muta. And where the cannons, and kind of having the scouting information and knowing where you need to place the cannons in between. So something that's absolutely critical for Protoss these days is keeping this probe scout alive for as long as possible. And unfortunately, it looks like Dreamer just ended up losing his initial probe. That's eight Zerglings now moving towards the front. These two cannons, plus the probe and a Zealot that should be out momentarily should be fine to go ahead and blockade this assimilator up in the main and probe starting to saturate that natural expansion third base again on the way and we do see already the so we'll see if we go up to seven drones here and it is and if it's going to be an initial hydra bust we do see a hydra list end down for zeddy and that the hydra pressure has been something he's been opting for i don't think just the feeling of the build orders, I may have been off on this on previous comments. I'm like, I, I didn't feel like it was a pure 973. But we'll have to see. this. I feel like because of that disruption of that probe at the 6 o'clock, that slowed down this expansion a little bit. We do Really, the big indicator is the amount of drones overall. So there's, there's 7 drones right here. We are seeing an 8th drone. Location, I'm not sure, matters a tremendous amount as far as where they're mining. We do see Hydra speed being upgraded, so it looks like he is going to opt for at least early Hydra pressure, that Overlord backing up after seeing that initial Stargate. And everything looking standard. Level 1 weapons upgrading. Typically, the, the counter that Protoss have opted for is go ahead and get that Corsair, 
get that scouting information, and then go for a lot of zealots and level one leg speed. Drones actually are transferring to the mineral patches here. So this would be the three. So this is, so not quite 973. Well, no, sorry. Yeah, pure 973 here. So look for the Hydras to start pushing the front. Now, here's the thing. With the Hydras moving out here, you usually use, lose a gateway. Oftentimes, you'll lose a forge. So we'll see if there's a cancel. Corsair making its way out to go ahead and see what's what. We see an initial gateway being placed down and a Citadel of Adun, which is the typical response. Corsair is working on nearby overlords. Perhaps just that might have been a mistake if Mutalisks were coming along the way. But seeing a Hydralisk underneath, I'm not sure if that was revealed or if Dreamer just assumed. But getting that initial overlord is actually big because that's going to put Zeddy in the red, which is going to slow down the amount of Hydra that are able to produce, which is which kind of cancels... Full bust potential. So might lose this forge. Looks like these initial hydras taking some damage. The zealots actually peeling off the line. Going to go ahead and do some damage. And try to push those hydralisks back. They might be able to buy enough time to get that forge weapons upgrade. We'll have to see. Keep in mind this is going to be fewer numbers of hydralisks. Because of that overlord kill. The zealots definitely wanted to make sure that level 1 weapons comes online. And Dreamer getting some nice micro. I don't think... Zeddy was prepared to deal with that. That might have bought him enough time to get that weapons upgrade, and that could be a huge difference in the follow-up. Another cannon being dropped with more, seeing a, a couple of these reinforcements coming in. And the Hydralisk is actually working on the gateway at this stage. That's going to allow that level and weapons to finish. Citadel of Dune leg speed upgrading. Three more gateways to get to... F or Sorry. Two more additional gateways, which is going to bring it up to five. Some more harassment on the front. So I think Dreamer doing everything he needs to do, honestly, at this stage to kind of pull around and have a strong counterattack. A fourth hatchery has been added to the natural expansion. No second gas. Range is being upgraded. But by the time range is finished, now starting to work on that forge, but by the time range is finished, I believe level one weapons is going to be in place and you're going to have zealots with leg speed and that's going to be very dangerous and a lot of zealots to follow and it's going to be very dangerous for Zeddy. A couple zerglings trying to do what they can. They're getting cleared out. And Zelt Lake Speed has kicked online, plus level 1 weapons, and they're right on top of these Hydralisks. At least that initial grouping getting picked away. This is just too many Hydralisks. They're going to go ahead and back off. Unfortunately, Dreamer overextending a bit. He is going to have an opportunity to go ahead and wait for another two rounds of Zealots. But at the moment, it looks like Zeddy, with some micromanagement and just over just overwhelming amounts of Hydralisks, has managed to seal him in his base. He's continuing to push the Hydralisks forward. He is grabbing a second extractor. As far as the natural ex expansion, he actually has reduced the amount of drones at that location. Now, the, from here, oftentimes, Zerg have a decision to make. Do they continue to pump Hydralisks, which it looks like currently Zeddy is, and go just for the full-on bust, or do they push to Lair Tech, go for Lurker and Contains, or something along those lines? Two additional cannons have been established I think just one additional cannon have been established on Dreamer's front. He's also got that line of zealots right there. He's anticipating a potential bust. Getting the Templar Archives level 1 armor as well. And this is a huge amount of Hydralisks from Zeddy. He's definitely going for the bust. If this does not succeed, this is a large amount of his economy. that will effectively have gone into just army units rather than anything else. The Zealots moving out, seeing the bulk of this army, seeing how large it is, and immediately backing up. Zeddy, realizing that he's being kind of caught with his pants down, wants to pick away at those Zealots, does clear several of them before they're able to get on top of the Hydralisk line, and this is a lot of Hydralisks and only four cannons. Probes are coming off the line to try to provide some defense. Two more cannons down, one cannon remaining, and the Hydralisk picking away at Probes now, it looks like, Zeddy may have done it. Ash Dreamer calling GG. Wow, I thought Dreamer getting that level 1 weapons was going to be able to pull it out. But unfortunately, pushing too many Zealots out there and on, uh, just losing a bit of that attack force, taking too much damage for free. And Zeddy able to capitalize on the attack part of the 973. And it's great to be able, for a finals that many people are coming into, it's great to be able to start off with a game which this is the meta. And that is typically what Protoss... Are worried about that right there gonna move on to game two zeddy has taken game one thanks for listening